Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lootcode. In this video, we are going to learn how to read the data from clipboard and we are going to make use of that in our test script using Playwright. So it's not only for Playwright, you can use this for your uh, protector or WebDriver IO or any Node.js based uh, framework. Okay. So it's going to be very simple. So I'm not going to write much code. I'm just going to show you the code because it's really easy. So I don't want to waste your time. Okay. So let's get started now. So first of all, we have a very small test script with the test block where like access clipboard and I'm using the latest feature like test.steps. So first I'll go to this site like clipboardjs.com and there I'm just going to click on this particular button and I'm using this force proof. That means uh, sometimes that button is not clicking because the button is really uh, down on the UI. So just I have used force so it will click on the button forcefully. Okay. And then I'm using this clipboard.read uh, that will read the data from clipboard and then I'm just uh, doing the console log. Okay. Now what is this clipboard in the now what is this clipboard in the sense like we have to install one dependency called clipboard. Okay. So let me show you the documentation. If you go here you can find all the links in the description. So here you can see like it's very easy. So first of all, we have to say like npm install clipboard that will add the dependency in our package.json and you have to use the require. Unfortunately, this is JavaScript library, not the TypeScript. So import will not work. So you have to go with this require statement. Okay. And if you want to write something to the clipboard, you have to use the function called write sync. And if you want to read something, you can use the read sync or the read. So read basically uh, gives us the promises. So we have to handle that. And the use case is very simple. We'll go to this website and here you can see like uh, we have this particular button from like uh, clip copy to clipboard. Okay, so let me inspect and show you this particular element. Yeah, so here you can see this is the matching element. Uh, so once we text here, it's going to basically copy not here. Uh, it will copy from somewhere. Okay, so if I go back to notepad and if I paste it here, here you can see like just because you something we got the copied text from the clipboard okay now we are going to make use of this in our uh, script we are just going to do the sysout okay so i mean console log of course okay so first of all uh, let's say that npm test and of course i have given this clip dot test in my playwright config and also in the package.json i have added this clipboard uh, package okay so let's see Okay, and it got passed and unfortunately there is nothing printed, I believe. Yeah, it's not printing. I think I'm using some custom reporter. Let me check that quickly. Okay, I'm just going to enable the reporter probably. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the browser got launched and here you can see like from clipboard uh, we got the copy to test okay i'm going to show you one more time so what i will do like i will click on some another button maybe like uh, here we have another button right yeah this one so if i copy this i can open that copied link in a new tab right so let's see how to do that okay it's going to be very very simple actually so let me go and inspect and this is the button so i'm going to use latex path yeah, so this is the, uh, we'll go with the CSS. This is the CSS element. We can check it here. You don't have to let text path mostly gives correct one, but just in case if you want, you can do that. Okay. Now let's go and here I'm going to uh, write. So I'm going to say like await page dot click. And within that, I'm going to pass my CSS. Okay. And then uh, what we'll do, we'll just try to read this same data. Okay. So I will just use this and I will change this like uh i will say like url and let's store this in the class in the file level because we have to open that in a new tab so i'm going to make use of this variable okay and this is going to be of any as of now and here you can see like we are using the clipboard dot read function that is await we have to handle the promise and now we are going to give it here okay and from clipboard url i'll just give something like this okay now let's go and run so what it what it will do means it will first try to click the first button where we'll get some sentence and then it will take the url 
Okay, so here you can see like we got both the text. That means of course our clipboard code is working fine. We have to open this in a new tab. Uh, so in our in our Discord community, so uh, one person asked like how to open the uh, copied text into a new tab. Okay, so we are going to solve this. Okay, so let's go and do that. Uh, it's going to be very simple. You can do in two ways. Either you can use the variable and you can use again in another context. That means another browser will be open. For example, I'm going to say test and here i'm going to say async and here i will say like open url from clipboard okay now i uh, will just say like await page dot go to and we'll just give the url here and then just to confirm we'll just print the title okay so we'll say like await uh, page dot title and i can directly wrap this within the console log so that will be easy so that will be easy yeah now let's go and run this again so first one is basically tries to get the data from access board from the clipboard and then you can see like oh, another tab got opened with this particular url okay so that's really cool but if you want to do in the same browser not in the different browser we can do it very simply okay so here i will make it like skip so that it won't execute and then uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the page here so await page dot context and from the context we can actually access new tab here new page sorry so new page and here we'll pass the url okay and here what is this okay uh, it should be new page actually uh, it should basically like yeah sorry uh, new page only so this is going to give me another page here let's say that uh, uh, new page probably something like that okay and then i'm going to say await new page dot go to and then we'll pass the url here okay and how to interact with this newly opened tab is very simple like here we use the page object right so similarly here we have to use the new page for example i'm going to print the title and i'm going to show you okay so title from new okay now let's go and run this so let's see it should work perfectly fine let's see Okay, so here you can see like it got opened in the new tab, not in the new browser, new context and one pass, one skipped. Okay, so that's it. This is a very quick tutorial. I hope you have learned like how to read the data from clipboard. Uh, but there are actually different ways to do that, like inbuilt uh, from the Chromium, like using this documentation, you can see like we have something like navigator.clipboard.read. But if you want to use the navigator, we have to set the permissions in the playwright config even though we can do that it will not work uh, i think that's a uh, issue in playwright so if you read this bug i will leave the link in the description you can read it like it's not supporting actually that navigator is not supporting in the uh, firefox browser but here in chromium also it's not. and if you want to know like how to set the permission uh, so it's going to be very simple so here we'll say like context option and then within this we have to select permissions and whatever the permissions you want to eat, uh, you want to give you can give it like for example uh, clipboard dash read and comma clipboard dash write okay so those two functions so those two permissions are required to access the navigator but unfortunately it's not working in playwright as of now uh, that is bug i believe okay and you can find the same uh, in this github link as well okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you have any queries feel free to ask in the comments or in our discord community thanks take care